Members of the Central Okanagan Search and Rescue rode at Kelowna's Crawford Mountain Bike Trails Thursday night, training on their new pedal assist e-bikes. The recent purchase of the seven bikes will allow the volunteers to access hard to reach rescues significantly faster. They're called electric assist, so they don't actually, it's not like an electric turn the thing on and just go. You still have to pedal them and what it does is it just makes it easier. A guy like me who maybe could be in better shape can actually keep up to some of the more fit people. We had a member who had a couple of e-bikes. Last year we had, uh, we picked up a young lady who was mountain biking and she injured her, injured her foot. And we took the ATVs out, but we couldn't get in. The, tra the, the trail was too narrow. So we took a couple of people with the e-bikes and they got up there and uh, stabilized her. And then we called for a helicopter uh, from Wildcat Helicopters. And they came over and winched her out and got her to the hospital. The 50-person COSAR team is one of 80 search and rescue groups across the province, all of which are made up of volunteers. BC, on average, does more searches than all the rest of the provinces in Canada put together. And that has a lot to do with the variety of terrain that we have and stuff like that. They're all volunteers. Uh, they don't get paid. Uh, lots of times we're out of pocket for our own personal gear. We have people that are t uh, retired school teachers to uh, uh, own their own companies to uh, janitors, whatever. Volunteers for COSAR meet every Thursday for training. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson.